thank you so much. So your name is Sunny, right? Yes, right. Yeah, so nice to meet you, Sunny. My name is Jiva. So you uh, will be your teacher for tonight. And you have a 20 minutes class with me, right? Yes, right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Sunny, how was your day? Are you already home? Yes, yes. These days I usually stay at home because uh, actually I live in America and I worked as a receptionist of the <gasps> physical therapy clinic. But, you know, due to the coronavirus outbreak, uh, the clinic is not allowed to open except for uh, emergency patients. So uh, these days I cannot work anymore and I usually stay at home and I usually study English very hard. Oh, great one. So how long have you been staying in America, right? Uh, yeah, it's been just one year. I, uh, um, since I moved here mm -hmm. because I yeah moved to last year uh, moved uh, mm -hmm. June in last year uh, in June last year so mm -hmm. I yeah, it's been yeah over uh, one year over oh okay so it's been a year yes right or it's been uh it's been or it has been more than a year yes okay. so before uh i moved here i expected that i can i could meet a lot of local friends and i can i could converse with them so i can mm -hmm. <laughs> improve my english uh, skill with them but mm -hmm. you know these days i have to <laughs> stay at home because i uh, refraining, I am. I refrain from um, uh, mm -hmm. attending gatherings like uh, church mm -hmm. services or yeah, meeting with uh, friends. So oh, oh, uh, unfortunately, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I have to study English by myself. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes okay, I feel like. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I live in Korea because in my home mm -hmm. uh, with my mm -hmm. husband, we usually uh, speak in Korean. So <laughs> sometimes oh. I feel like, yeah, I live in Korea, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, so you still feel that you live in Korea? But yes. Wow, so you're with your husband in, in sorry, America, right? Yes, right. And uh, do you have children? No, not yet, but we are preparing for becoming, becoming yeah, parents. So, parents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just don't rush it. Take your time, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. mm, because... Um, I'm just wondering, could you tell me how old are you? Is it okay to ask? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So, what's your age? Uh, I'm <laughs> uh, 30, 37 mm -hmm. years old, but we are really? newly red couple because we yeah, we got married at our mm -hmm. 30, in, in, in mm -hmm. the middle of our 30s, so uh, we uh -huh. are newly wed <laughs> couple and we are, yeah, preparing mm -hmm. for having children. But you it's know, okay. yeah, Why you know, it's, so a, very young? Yeah, it's a kind of social issues in Korea because many uh, people mm -hmm. don't want to uh, get married in their early ages. So these days, many people get married in their uh, late at uh, sorry around thirties and uh, in the middle of thirties. So mm -hmm. they they have a lot of problems with having children because they are late ages. So uh, I have oh, yeah. I think I have. Uh -oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of the problem. So many people in Korea um, tr are trying to have a baby uh, with a tube test, uh, test tube. 
right? Mm. Oh, okay. So lab actually. So it's more like um, I forgot the term, but you know um, you they have babies, but they use um sperm donors like that. What? I don't, um, it's hard to make babies if you're old, right? So, how do Koreans cope up? Do they adopt? Mm. Mm, adopt babies. Yes, uh, right. Oh my god, my writing, give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> adopt. Adopt. This or, one. yeah, or they, um, they. Mm -hmm. They try mm -hmm. to have a test tube baby, so it test tube? yeah test tube baby. It is very uh, what's that? yeah common. Uh, test tube baby. You you, uh, you don't know the. Give me a minute. Actually no. Um, let me just give me a minute. Test tube baby. Ah my. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. so Babies. Oh. Yeah, so if you oh. want to try to try to uh, try uh, test your baby, uh, the government support the money to uh, try them. But you know, in America, it's very uh, uh, the hospital cost is very high than Korea, Korea uh, higher than Korea. Mm -hmm. So we cannot yeah try that, but. Uh, one of my friends uh, had the problem mm -hmm. with having a baby, so she mm -hmm. uh, tried to have a, a test tube baby, and mm -hmm. she succe succeed with succeed in yeah that kind of thing. So uh, uh, a couple of uh, wow. days ago, I'm she yeah she had a birth. <laughs> As a result mm. of yeah, test of baby. So, I if I were I live I lived in Korea, I also uh, I might I, I could have uh, tried that test, but uh, uh -huh. mm. But you know I live in uh, since sorry, I live in. Yeah, since I live in America, I cannot try that. So we just, yeah, try to have a baby by ourselves. Good luck with that. I wish you all the best. I uh, wish you all the best. I, uh, good luck, okay? Fighting. <laughs> thank you. Wow, you're welcome. So I really heard also that um, the marriage rate is very, uh, it's really a big problem. Like, what you told me a while ago because in my country i'm supposed to be married my age is supposed to be married you know mm -hmm. and i'm actually <laughs> very young i'm oh what is that <laughs> i'm just 21. oh really you know? <laughs> so, yeah, i'm just 21. i'm about to turn 22 on december so um actually a lot of my friends are already married they already have two babies oh so, i see and yes so 21 is the average age in the philippines to get married oh. so if you turn 23 24 25 you know the people would call you old already oh that's so why I want to go to your country <laughs> because I don't want people calling me oh you know where in fact I'm just living in a you know the the wrong country because uh, um, I want to you know have my career first before uh, before anything else because I want to provide properly for my children uh, I want to cry because you know everyone has like children but yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. But Go you know, first. yeah, uh, to be pregnant is very healthy, easy, I think. But you know, many Koreans mm -hmm. uh, pursue their career than their family or their children. So I think mm -hmm. I, uh, as I mentioned, I think it's a kind of it's a kind of social problem. But 
you know, I think in my place in America, people uh, uh, what can I say? People don't meddle, meddle. They don't. Metal. Other oh, yeah, okay. other people's uh, age, uh, uh, marriage marriage ages or whether they mm -hmm. <laughs> they get married or not. So I think mm -hmm. they re I I feel like they respect other op op others opinions and uh, mm -hmm. thought. So I think it's very good to. Uh, respect others because you know Korea is very conservative society so they disrespect mm -hmm. other <laughs> people's uh, thoughts or opinions mm -hmm. sometimes so uh, after moving here I feel like I'm very uh, respectful I'm very uh, be respectful mm -hmm. uh, from others so it's very good mm -hmm. Yeah, very open, open-minded uh, society. Yes, you know, America is very open-minded to the point that you could see people or women walking in their bikinis in the road. <laughs> you know, it's like, especially during summer, and it's like a culture shock, especially for Asians, mm. because we have a very conservative nature or culture, right? Yeah, right. And so I. Don't I don't understand. <laughs> Me too. I was shocked for the first time because I had a friend before who was from America and I was like, what are you wearing? What <laughs> are you wearing? <laughs> and especially I live in a very cold city, you know? Oh. It's not, you wouldn't see anyone wearing something like that. Uh. You know, I want to tell her, but it's her, like, it's how she grew up, you know? Mm. So eventually she got, or she actually realized it's wrong. Because mm -hmm. who would not stare, you know, it's crazy. And mm. I do get your point. Mm. And especially, you know, the marriage. Oh, my God. <laughs> to be honest, people are already, you know, every family reunion, people are asking me, when mm. are you going to get married? Your friends, your cousins are already married. And I was like, how would I explain? That's why I'm not going to any reunion nowadays. Never. <laughs> I try to avoid it, oh my but God. for your case, yeah, for your case, uh, which do you prefer, a daughter or a son, or anything? Uh, I think I prefer daughter. <laughs> daughter? Why? Yeah. Because uh, when they are getting uh, aging, uh, uh, uh -huh. get, getting older, I think... Daughter is better than sons mm -hmm. because uh, in Korea many sons don't uh, don't um, what can mm -hmm. I say don't consider it, consider consider their parents as a, uh -huh. uh, they're not considerate yeah considerate them mm -hmm. daughters so mm -hmm. in my case my parents. I prefer me than my brother <laughs> sometimes <laughs> because he he uh, doesn't spend a lot of time at home. He wants to go out outside and friends, yeah, meet their meet his friends a lot. So he mm -hmm. just spend spend time at home just at weekends or. Uh, late at night, so uh, sometimes uh, my parents feel feel like uh, he's not he he's not their <laughs> children <laughs> child because ah, okay. yeah they not because the my parents is uh, uh, my parents re retired and he, they have a lot of time but. Uh, he my my brother uh, doesn't like spend time with time with them. So even if he's li he li he's living in 
Korea and I live in I living in America. I'm living in America. Uh, they uh, talk a lot uh, more time than uh, more time with me than my brother. Mm, I see. You know, I think yeah. You know, even in my country, uh, but in my country actually, whether you're a guy or a girl, you have or you have the obligation to take care of your parents when they grow older. Mm. Because it's like in our tradition, you know, yeah. people, or in my country, people will call you in our language, uh, walang, walang naloob, someone who doesn't look back, that's mm. it, the meaning, someone who doesn't look back to, you know, where they started, or they are very inconsiderate, and they don't have a respect for their parents. Something mm. like that. Oh. But in America, you wouldn't see the same case. You know, it's very different in America. <laughs> yeah. I heard that when you turn 18, you have to leave your parents' house. Yes, right, right. right? Yes, right. So because, oh, uh, first of all, they have to uh, go to the uh, college. And, you know, uh, America is very uh, big country so they have to leave their uh, parents house for their college going to co their college uh, mm -hmm. so that's why yeah they have to leave their parents house af uh, after yeah 18 years old mm -hmm. oh my gosh you know that's very hard because I heard that of um, teenagers become homeless at that point because they're forced to to leave their houses, their parents' houses. And so you rarely see American parents, you know, really taking care of their children until they grow old. Mm. You know, so you, I could see that I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm not forced out. You know. Uh, so you leave you to your parents. Yes, I still live with my parents, you know. Mm. I want to move out, but they don't want to. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't want me to move out, not until I got married or I'm not getting married. So when will I move out? Something like that, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. Anyway, Sonny, um, we only have a few seconds left. Oh, okay. So before we end the class, do you have any question? Uh... Actually, these days, I, I, as I mentioned, I'm, I study very hard, English very hard. So I want to mm -hmm. use more uh, various expressions in my daily sentences. So what, mm -hmm. what can you recommend that? Okay. To, um, yeah. Give me a moment. Okay. So wait a minute. I'm sorry. Um, I just noticed that your sentences were actually good. You know, um, but um, you have to really arrange or study more or review on your subject verb agreement. Because, for example, instead of saying it is my, I'm sorry, my sister walked in front of me, so it's a distraction. I'm sorry. So <laughs> instead of saying <laughs> it is only my hubby, you could say it is my only hubby. You need to change, interchange them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the phrase, and instead of saying my hubby is learning English, you could also say my hubby or one of my hubbies is learning English. Mm. Okay. Oh. I because see. when you say my hubby, meaning it's only one, you only have one mm. hubby. But one if my, you one say of my hobbies. Mm -hmm, meaning you have a lot. Okay. okay. Right. Right. All right. So yeah, that's just it. I just mm -hmm. notice your um that's it. Actually okay. your subject verb agreement. But for your present and past you still have to work on that because I think I heard some sentences that were interchange that mm -hmm. instead of saying it's in the past, you know, you, you said it in like um present. Okay, mm -hmm. just be careful. Yeah, right, right. And I'll try. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I know you're doing good. And one more thing, as much as possible, always answer in a complete sentence mm -hmm. or always make sure that your answer has the complete thought, okay? Mm -hmm. 
so that people will not ask you like what do you mean <laughs> okay oh i see oh thank you in a complete sentence mm -hmm. you're welcome and it's actually my pleasure having to talk with you it's, it's very fun so just keep practicing more and fighting okay okay thank you okay so thank you so thank you so much sunny i'll send your corrections again later okay, okay? Take care. thank you good night you too bye bye bye